Welcome to Professor Zai's YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Windows 10 uh, privacy settings. There are some settings that you can implement on your Windows 10 computer that will help you out with your privacy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by going to uh, click uh, left click on the start menu here in Windows 10. Uh, click on settings right there. Uh, just one click and go to privacy. Um, and if you go to privacy, you go to general. And in general, you're going to see some privacy settings like let apps uh, use advertising ID to make more interesting uh, to you based on your app activity. Uh, so you're going to notice here that websites provide locally relevant content uh, by accessing my language list. You can turn that off. Uh, let Windows track apps launches to improve start and search results. You can turn that off as well. Show me suggested content in, 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 in the settings app. You can turn that off. If you go to the speech, you notice here I had this turned off, use Microsoft's cloud-based speech recognition to improve the accuracy of speech recognition and you uh, use your voice for dictation. Uh, if you turn this off, uh, it says here recognition, you don't, you won't be able to speak to Cortana, which I really don't use Cortana, so I turn that off. Um, inking and typing personalization, uh, you can uh, turn that off as well. Use your typing history and handwriting patterns to create a personal dictionary. Uh, you can turn it off, and if you do turn it off, uh, it says here w uh, when this is switched off, your personal typing and inking dictionary will be cleared, but the standard dictionary will continue to provide typing suggestions and handwriting recognition. So you can turn that off as well. Uh, uh, diagnostics and feedback. Um, what I do here in diagnostics, I choose how too much diagnostic data to uh, I send out to Microsoft. So diagnostic data is used to help keep Windows secure and up to date. Uh, I usually just keep it to basic, send only information about your device, its settings and capabilities, and whether it's performing properly. Uh, there's two options here. One is full, um, so basic, and then send all basic diagnostic data. So I usually choose the basic one. Uh, improving, uh, improve inking and typing. Um, I have this turned off as well. Uh, and I have here, let Microsoft use your diagnostic data, excluding information about websites you browse. I usually turn that off, view diagnostic data, and I also view that off, turn that off as well. Uh, deleting diagnostic data, I can delete that. If whatever data I share with Microsoft, I can delete it. Um, here, and the, uh, the, the other option here, the next one, is basically, uh, it has to do with the uh, activity history. Uh, so I, I, I have this here where activity history jump back into whether you were doing uh, uh, what you were doing on your device by storing your activity history. Uh, you can here, you can store your activity history on this device. You can also choose to send out activity history to Microsoft. I choose to turn that off. Uh, this is one option as well. So uh, here, another one is location. I have location turned off. Uh, here in location, I have uh, allow access to location on this device. If you allow access, you will enable Windows to use your device's capabilities to determine your location. I usually have it turned off here and then allow apps to access your location. And here, give you a list of applications that you can have your, uh, like for example, weather. If you wanna check your weather uh, history on your, in your area, you need to turn that on. Maps, same thing, but I have everything turned off, the camera. Uh, 3D viewer, Skype, and so on. Allow desktop apps to access your location. I have that turned off. Uh, geofencing may, means using your location to see when you cross in or out of boundary drawn around the place of interest. And camera here, uh, allow apps to access your camera because I use Zoom and I use other applications. I need the camera to work, so I have that turned on by, uh, I you know, allow access to your camera on this device. Here you can choose also other applications that you want to turn on or off, like uh, Feedback Hub, Lenovo Vantage, I can turn that off. Microsoft Photos, Skype, because I use Skype. I don't use Xbox, Game Bar, I can turn that off. Uh, allow desktop apps to access your camera. Some apps, Windows features need to access your camera, so I have that on because I need some apps to ask, like, like Zoom Meeting, for example, Google Chrome. Uh, so, and it tells you right there the time, the date, the last access the, uh, of the, of the uh, camera. Microphone, same thing, allow apps to access your microphone. You have to do that if you wanna use Zoom or other applications. So I have the camera, uh, Cortana, I really don't need Cortana, I can turn that off. I don't use Cortana, so I can turn it off here. So it tells you the list of applications that you can turn the uh, microphone off or on. 
voice activation, same thing. Allow apps to access your activ voice activation. If you allow access, you can use settings on this page to choose which, which apps will listen to a, for a voice keyword and continue listening to the microphone. Uh, you can turn that on or off if you like. Allow apps to use voice activation when this device is locked. That's turned on right there. And then choose your default app for headset button press. So these are some of the uh, uh, notification, notifications as well. Allow apps to access your notification. If you allow uh, access, you can choose which apps you can access your notification using the settings on this page. Denying access blocks apps from accessing your notification. So I leave that on. So it depends on your needs and what you use the, the, uh, the privacy settings for. Contacts as well, allow apps to access your contacts. Uh, if you're, for the email, I only have that on. The rest, I have it turned off here. Uh, phone calls, allow apps to make phone calls. Uh, Skype, for example, I, I do use that, so I leave that on. Call history, I can, I can basically turn that off. If you allow access, you can choose which apps can access your call history. And here, I don't have any apps turned on for that reason. Uh, and here, uh, messaging, same thing, allow apps to read and send messages. You can turn that off. And then you have pictures, uh, documents, uh, allow apps to access your documents library. Uh, you, I need that. Uh, I'm not sure if I need the feedback hub. Uh, voice recorder, I might need that, Windows security. And file system, allow apps to access your file system. If you allow access, you can choose which apps uh, can have access to all of your files, including your documents, pictures, videos. So go through the, uh, again, go through the start menu settings and go to privacy and go through these steps here and then see which one you really need to have uh, enabled on or off. Uh, again, this is just a sum of the privacy settings you can implement on your uh, Windows 10 device. Uh, please follow, uh, I have my web personal website, uh, professorzai.net, my business website, aspiretechng.com. Follow me on this page and uh, see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.